what's up guys this is the right and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war let's play as grand columbia and in this episode we managed to steal a march on the marathas and and marched a an army up to defend santo domingo before they could attack but they have still decided to push in and attack us and we will destroy them so let's get ready to fight so at least we know that santo domingo is the territory that the marathas want so this army or potentially the development of another army they may perpetually stay here as a garrison force because unless well for, for the foreseeable future the marathas will only be interested in trying to attack that territory because that's generally how the ai behaves and it does mean i probably want uh, defenses probably want a set of walls just throw them back into the sea from whence they came but let's set up set up my defensive line behind trenches set my grenadiers up front with stakes melee troops and hunker down here. I want to get my art get artillery up here, but I don't know if they're going to be able to position properly. And to be safe, I may deploy two units that are going to trundle back a little bit and deploy. And one unit it's going to, tr well, if I can even get there, try get up there to deploy. It might deploy my battle line a bit further forward just to get a bit more space. Okay. A lot of cavalry here. We'll be great on the counter charge. See if you can get up there in a satisfactory way. This artillery just a number and fire. Whoops. General. Let's bring them back. Run one of these grenade units onto each flank. So they are on their way. can't engage their art the artillery that we'd like to engage although I would like to because they are engaging us oh their light cavalry is just <laughs> charging How it says can't shoot at anything yet. Okay, let's you guys halt, fire it well again. I may have to end up picking these, making my artillery shoot it. The stomach swordman's not terrible. Although, actually, they were. They were charging my artillery when I attack their artillery with cannon fire. So, actually, let's do that. They're going to be engaged by my Alex is coming in. So these guns are up on the hill. Yeah, that's not bad. straight for my artillery. Get ready, men. Excellent. Big mistake, buster. Okay, here they come.
I want my howitzers to work on the artillery. On their um, cavalry, rather. They've got a lot of cavalry. Well, let's start to try and whittle it down some. against this flank. They don't know my all my cavalry's here, plus some infantry support. They've got a lot of free melee units. That's, that is quite dangerous. They're advancing right towards us. Maybe my howitzers go to work on this 2067th Tumen, because these guys are going to be engaged by our line. Commit against their cavalry. volley from my native cavalry. Okay, let's use my howitzers against this block. Start to chip away at their cavalry. As soon as their cavalry is gone, they're in a much worse position. Let's commit my native troops into the melee. Good. They are shattered. You are leading my cavalry away. They okay, all run away then. See, now they'll charge and then they'll run away again. Eighth Regiment. Support the attack against the troops in the center. We'll support. The defence of the troops on the left. That was completely wrong what I just said. If you can kill these horsemen, that would be super. When our line gets going, we'll be fine. And it soon will start. Mercenary infantry. Melee troops. Hits. They're shattered. Okay, right. Run my light cavalry back up because these swordsmen are going to test us. Be sure my general's out here on the right. needs to smack into the back of these Islamic swordsmen. We need to ruin them. Artillery up on the hill, focusing on that unit of horsemen. Probe auxiliary cease fire. But now we need to start pushing. Next to broken. Hindu warrior unit, where's my 
grenadiers get back into position. One of my cavalry units continue to run, one chase them down. Excellent, keep running. Mortars engage. The infantry. from the Islamic swordsman. Okay, form the cavalry back up again. You guys withdraw. Artillery engage. A unit of infantry. Run away from the... Uh, Run away from the Islamic swordsmen. I wonder what they're doing. They were going to charge me. Terry folks on the lancers. Let's get my howitzers just dropping shots on the infantry. Oh, we have quick climb as well now. All of you withdraw. Excellent. These guns on the hill engage the 115th two man. All my foot infantry engage the 115th. Let's fire a round shot at them as well. Nice. Push, push, push. Take them out. Although, to be honest, I'm probably going to have to push up with my line for the most part. So you're hitting these Islamic swordsmen. Good. Push in. Give everybody orders to push on against other units in the rear. They need to go up and push and destroy their artillery. Everybody's in flying column. Just kill them enough that they're shattered. We can defeat them in the open field, but yeah, this position needs artillery support. Well, this position needs uh, fortifications. Guys aren't in the musket range yet. Engage the cavalry forward. Some we need to take these cavalry units out. A couple of volleys and you'll be off. We're only armed peasantry. There you go. So then just give my infantry an order to advance through the centre of the town and speed up time because right now everybody's just running away. Everyone commit against the 50 seconds.
So then there we go. So now they're in. I mean, come this way, you damn fools. If you charge this way, or get over here, you can run into the... Come on, native warriors, get in there too. Trying to steer their diamond formation into the <laughs> into my cavalry. I'm still gonna lose some of them to the stakes. Like these two. Oh no, just the one. There we go, they decided to break and run anyway. Their general's unit is not so generally useful. So that force has been significantly damaged. It's retreated off to the peninsula. We keep growing our navy so that we can... So we've got our, our blockade of Austria is done. We need to grow our navy even more to begin to try and choke off Marathon naval supremacy. So I think if we can successfully cut them off from the sea and cut them off from that trade, they may be in quite significant trouble. So we are going to be conducting an awful lot of naval warfare, I think. They're the Moroccan rebels, that's fine. <laughs> they actually attacked the British in order to raid the port. Brilliant. Uh, do what you like. You can raid as much as you like. Okay, fleet arrives. So you can drop this army in the south. They can clean up Morocco from here. Okay, just go in and attack Charles Bering. And head towards this fellow. So we can't build any religious schools anywhere. That's kind of kind of lame. So I might have to build one in Algiers and then ship them west. Ooh, powerful Royal Navy fleet. May have to demolish them. First of all, let's make sure all my fleets are arrived. So you guys come over here to where all the trade ships are gathering. Same with you guys. Come over, well, not kind of the same. Come over here to where all of the... Some of my fleets are being born. Capitán? Jerome Cotton, heavy first rate Clyde. There we go. Four three and a four three. No, combine. Then go. Hello, what's this? Okay. You men should be enough to do you, okay, right, I got a lot of naval actions to fight here. Holy moly. Okay, right. So can't deal with you yet. This fleet We can go attack you and absolutely mob you with ships. 
Okay, first and foremost, okay, let's start off. Let's attack this force here to make sure they are dead completely. I think we've <laughs> all of our naval forces are actually uh, committed into Europe. And now, actually, the Americas is a bit not vulnerable exactly, but we need to make sure that we do this properly. It's a perfect example of needing we need to dominate seas to protect our holdings okay my foot artillery is going to push up to the crest of the hill and deploy my howitzers are going to deploy here and just engage grenadiers and what foot in and native warriors will protect the infantry, my cavalry block will form, or it will off. Something like that. My grenadiers can push down ahead of the guns. Oh, sorry, this light, yeah, this light cavalry is a bit vulnerable. Keep my cavalry together, see if what they fancy. The speed up time. I mean, they can try and hit my infantry if they like. It's not going to save them. And if when my artillery gets up on the hill, they're going to be incredibly sore. Advance. We need to advance my ground is around the hill. Nope, don't shoot them. Just charge straight in. You form square to deal with that infantry. Nothing they could do against such a massive cavalry onslaught. They've broken. Charge my grenadiers into the mercenaries. They've broken. The, infant, the cavalry attacking the square will likely fall soon. Charge! the grenadiers howitzers bombard the light infantry that's hiding in the rear okay now actually you guys attack them you guys attack them More of them. The lancers are now engaged in proper sword fighting. They can't use the advantage of their lancers. Cease fire the guns. Probe auxiliary charge into the Maratha light infantry. Well, they deployed some stakes, but it's fine. We're going to charge straight through. We can take them. I mean, I'm pretty sure they are going to be destroyed regardless. Well, let's, let's continue just to make sure.
everybody against this armed peasantry. I think they, they are going to escape, but we might be able to just catch the back end of their formation. Nice. So that, yeah, that army has been destroyed. Santo Domingo, let's get fortifications, and then this army can replenish, although we're not going to be able to do as much, get as much done as we would like. So all the ship movements are done. Managed to spot you guys. Okay, let's take as many four threats as we can. I'm probably sending these guys here anyway to hold. Let's attack this fleet. Just surround and swarm the third rate. And then, then we that will be us uh, destroying a Maratha invasion force, which will be nice. But very much do with more ships. The weather gauge is against us. That is not ideal. Admiral's flagship third ray is not going to go in first. I don't want my Admiral to be stank. I think we end up having to do this. They're following the weather gauge. Okay, let's let them do what they're doing. Then we will push in and take them out. Ideally, well, I'd like to capture the thirds and fourths. The fifth and the carronade frigate can be cashed in for money. I think we've got we we definitely have enough ships to swarm them and prevent them from doing what they would like to do. We will probably we will lose fourth rates in doing this, but I think it's worth well, it's certainly worth the risk. Savitri and Rayala. At some point, we need to advance. Well, we send a fleet to clear out Ceylon. Then we can start to recruit ships to keep raiding their their um, ports to prevent their construction of new shipping. Because that will be very much worthwhile. We can start raiding their ports and preventing their production of military vessels. All the better for us. Sacramento is going to lead the way. And we are going to want to try and wipe some masts off. Being the next volley. Okay, they're advancing towards us. Okay, you guys all need to stop following the fleet and just nail it on this course. We need you guys to push up. We can block third rates from being able to move but you can see how much damage they do to us we need to start hobbling some of these ships 
main mist. Keep maneuvering. Ultimately, it's probably better that you guys somewhat sacrifice yourselves to allow this to happen. You may end up needing just to pummel them with a round shot, but I don't think you're going to get that opportunity very many times. You cut in behind them. See, fighting these ships toe to toe is not good. Just maintain your position. Like you guys say it full support. This is the part of the frustrating thing about, about Empire is it decides actually, you know what, I'm not gonna have everyone sail it. Full sail, that'd be crazy. Yep, Sacramento sinking. You need to get in behind them. is gone. Rear mast is gone. Midland. If you can knock out the foremast, that would be super. You're all going to trundle in between them. Firing round shot. Just keep doing damage to Priala. You're gonna have to play a round shot because you're in a not a great position. But you're not gonna live for much longer. You're going to pitch up and just... Actually, no, you're going to pursue Savitri. Knock out the foremast. foremast. It would be super. Real is routing. Perfect. Keep engaging. Pummeler with round shot. Don't let her escape. These guys sail around the back of Karanji. Get around the head of the third ray. Just keep hitting her, don't let her get away. Cookery is surrendered. It's Admiral's flagship third ray. Get ready to fire. Get out of the way. Okay, 
Okay, we really need to get ahead of this third rate. No guns ready to fire. They are. Third rate is surrendered. Okay. Push. Keep engaging the carronade for it. Excellent. Shot away the top of another mast. You just hold ground. is surrendered. Savitri is wavering. Lost another mast. Switched around shot. Bombard. Come on, you've lost. You're not a fighting ship anymore. Look at you. You're a disgrace. Angie's looking a bit peaky. San Felipe is routing. It took a broadside from Savitri. That was enough. Excellent. Just gonna eat a a good old chunk of chain shot, matey boy. You think you're so tough with all your sails, eh? See how you feel now. It's your main mast. Immediately surrendered. Surrendered. Excellent. 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 Yeah, it wasn't close. We had plenty of ships to bring to bear, but that was good. Okay, so we want to cash in on the thirds and the fourths. Add those, cash those in. Preparados. No podemos ir ahí, ¿Cuál es la orden? So switch some ships sí, around. Señor. Third rate. Put in at San Juan for repairs. And then let's put Dan Daniel, Crew and Admiral there. Sí, señor. En marcha. Get these fifths back to Cinemary. Get you guys back to Demerara. I may. Put a militia into the port so the sloop doesn't have to do that and it means I can, I can, bar, I can put a full fleet in the port and, and the port is protected so let's put the sloop into here so that was a good victory for us I mean, you need. We don't need uh, help on station yet. Let's check our other fleet stuff. Cool, that's all being done. Works on strike in England. That's okay. I mean, we've got a an army here. We have to engage, which we should probably do. Otherwise, they'll cause a lot of trouble. Screw sloop in Belfast. Engage Roderick Colville. Oh, their fleet, their army is incredibly depleted. Let's just auto that. Victoria. Al instante. 
¡Arrástenlos como moscas! ¡Orgullosos y victoriosos! ¡Seguimos! ¡Habachu! Cool, replenish, replenish, 606. Not a lot else we can do. We could engage this Royal Navy fleet, but I'm inclined to let to leave them alone for one more turn so we can get some more income. So fear we need I mean yeah, B B seven thousand seems like a lot, but we got a lot of a lot of wars to fight. And things can get pretty dicey real fast. Oh, there's a Royal Navy fleet about. We need to send out scouts. Find it and destroy it. That should be the last Royal Navy. There, they've got fleets in... Um, in they've got armies in India still that can go after us. Oh, good God alive. Retreat. Let's see if they, ch if they chase us down. They're going to definitely die. Yeah. Fair enough. Retirada, retirada. That's to be expected. They lost four perdida. ships against my one. That's where auto resolve starts to work in my favour. You're going to do the same to one of my other trade ships, I guess? Nope. We must be selective with our battles at sea. We need to make sure that we do that we can strike the most decisive blows wherever possible at all times. We mustn't be fooled into thinking we have to engage every adversary every time. Look, it's a variety in England. Yeah, that's to be expected. But as long as these armies keep recruiting or keep replenishing, we'll be able to take them down when the rebels do pop up okay let's try get some fleet stride yes. okay you guys can put to sea now so i can rotate rotate guys in and out of these ports okay, let's get some upgrades Put them into Guadeloupe. Okay, we need to make sure we keep investing in our tax base so we don't get absolutely... or so that our economy can continue to support the fighting forces that we're requesting it to. Don't need artillery. Produce more goods. Todo listo y en orden, ah, you're here to jump on the Russians, on the Austrians here. Because sí, the more, the more of their ships we can take care of now. It's like right now. Preparados. Especially when they leave the ports. Sí, when they, when they, uh, Eso es tierra firme. they kick us out and then they let us come in again. But that's... They're not going to get any more fleets out of the Med. I mean, they've got... They're building them. But they're not super good. But they're not going to get any out of their Atlantic coast. So we need to make sure that we... Jump on and destroy... Any ships they do have in the open sea. Especially if they're heavy first rates. And they're ships that we can steal... We can steal and we can put into our service rather than that of the enemy. Heavy. First, first, first. Second, second, second. Second, third, third. We need to be ready because the enemy have rocket ships. I might go here. 
Yeah, the enemy have rocket ships, so they can do a lot of... They can, they can sink a lot of our ships quite quick. So this may end up being a net loss, depending on how many ships we lose. But the idea is that, you know, preventing... Whenever Austria have capital ships that can be taken, we must take them. We cannot afford to let them roam the seas and raid us. And once we've got... Once Europe is secure and cut off, we can then start to focus more of our naval effort on India to block off their coast so that the Grand Columbia rules the seas of the world and that we choose when we act. We do not respond. We are the investigators of action. And it looks like their heavy first, obviously because it's a bit slower, it's going to be... It's going to take a bit of time to get it in there. But we want to storm past these lighter ships and get into action against both the heavy first and also the rocket ship as fast as possible. We don't want to be loitering around the periphery which means we may end up having to go like this to make sure we're not on a collision course with that rosé otherwise we'll just get stuck. We'll kind of bump up against it and not actually be able to move. Surprised we've not had a rocket volley yet. They'll probably cut across our stern anyway. Yeah. Which it makes sense, but it's frustrating because it just bogs down our um, fleet's advance. So everybody else, break off our line approach and get them to do this. Now that Rosé, you know, they're there going, Ooh, we've got some shit. We've managed to kill one guy and sink one cannon. See, so once San Ildefonso gets out of the way, Brilliante will be able to put go full sail. I'm surprised the, the rocket ship hasn't popped off any shots yet. You're in trouble now. We're going to fire a chain. Yes. There's the rocket. See, so our heavy's on fire. They're going to cease fire. We'll try to put it out. I'm going to fire a broadside into this ship. Oh, there we go. No, fire it was fire. It's not been put out yet. Firewall off, I should say. Uh, yeah, we need to keep it off. So they, put, they put the fire out. First rate starts steaming forward. Everybody else, you need to go a bit wider than that. Brillante is not on fire. Daniel Defonso is still on fire, but we can use broadsides. Ship of the line into it. We're going to be in a position to start to engage Vignetta. Vinita, Vinetta, Vinita, one or the other. But that brig's in a very unenviable position. They are surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. What a chain from Brilliante. Just the tippy top. And this brings is going to sail straight into Santa Isabel, who is on fire. I'm going to let them fire their shots first, and then fire will off. 
You're on fire again. You won't be for long. We're about to get within gunnery range of the rocket ship. Make sure it turn firewall off. Close range rocketry. Still gonna be on fire. You're probably gonna be dismasted. No, you're not. Dorset ship, go straight for the rocket ship. Travel now. So the heavy first rate is still on fire. Another close range rocket fire going for Dorsetshire this time. You whiffed and you set the brig on fire. Not a terrible outcome though, depending on what you were trying to achieve. Let's wipe your masts off. Hey Brilliante, let's get you in position ready to start to engage. Superpower of a warship that's bearing down onto us. Speed up time. There we go. Pull a handbrake turn. Start to knock out some of these masts. Brilliante, drop anchor. Great Austrian eagle flying. Oh, I believe that's an eagle. As it sails headlong into our fleet. Dorsetshire. Uh, get into position, then drop anchor. You should be they should be able to hit them with chain from here. Just get firing. I get the San Gelaro park itself here. Demon in. Another rolling broadside. Drop anchor. Brilliant day. Feeling a bit more exposed on the deck. There goes the main. That isn't remaining. You must be feeling a bit dicey right now. What was that? Something. 
fell off. Us a tune, lad. Oh, oh, chain shots have almost taken the admiral's head off. Yeah, let's make fire. No, for the firing chain, that's fine. See if you can knock out. Drama boy! No, he's okay. He's just knocked down. He's fine. Give us a tune, me lad. God damn. San Gennaro is getting ready. Get into position. Lucky you're not losing your last burst. No, I'm missing. Drummer Boy is gone. I know the Drummer Boy is still there. See, these, these ships can take a lot of damage. Think, what's that? A heavy first, three first rate ships of the line. They're engaging. And it's just look how much health it's still got. Does not give a damn. These fellows crept up from below deck. Expects things are afoot. See, so you can't hit that last mast for Toffee. It's right in front of you. The, ship's da the ship has taken a lot of damage, particularly in the stern, but that's to be expected. Or in the bows, I mean, not the stern. The stern's the back. of casualties all over the shop. Down to 88 guns. A couple of our ships are kind of going, oh no, kind of ruining the plan. Might return some fire against Dorsetshire soon. Now you're waiting. Company of Defonso, broadside into the farm. Good decision. Very good decision. Decisive victory. We're going to bring the heavy first into our fleet and then the rest will be cashed in. Listos para la acción. Sí, capitán. Who's over Ordenes here? recibidas. Um, the Knight of St. John. Let's go back to America for repairs. Orden? We've done all of this. I'm pretty Pretty sure, just making sure. Make sure we keep on upgrading our industry. Yeah, you rioted because you're silly. But we're standing by, ready to attack whatever they send against us. Um, so we've got these fifths. Two of our heaviest fleets are in the south. They're in the med. 
You're guarding the Strait of Gibraltar. You need you can push in and attack the uh, Demetrius Thorn, and soon we'll be able to push the navy, this force, including victory, out of Iran. <clears throat> You may want to destroy, attack this fleet first to prevent them from being used for reinforcement. Portugal's army is massing. Well, it's ready. Let's reinforce Gibraltar. We don't want them to get caught out by, by a Spanish surprise attack. But down here in India, they've got a decent fleet protecting... Alumbo. So if we want to bring these guys into the action, we need to send a proper full-bloodied fleet down there to clear the port out and then so we can start raiding all of these possessions along the Indian coast. So I think the action is to take these fellows against the Royal Navy fleet here. Hannibal, Liverpool, Roebuck and Sutherland to deal with, plus Newton. We don't want to really want to bring these guys into, into the action. But I think it's better to fight them as two separate battles that favour us, rather than push these guys out and have this fleet support that action. So let's do that. And as we, like we did previously, all of the... Actually, <laughs> this is... This episode is going to blow right past the turn limit because I've just realised that I'm an hour in and naval battles take forever. So this is going to be a super episode. <laughs> oh well. So, heavy firsts lead the way. We're going to deal with all of their little frigates that are going to come showing up first. We're going to try and do this. Yeah, the heavy frigates are going to arrive on the field first. Hannibal is going to make their way here. Where did, actually, where are our reinforcements coming in from over here? That's not, not terrible, just not great. Some real killers of the fleet we're going to have up against us here. That's exactly what we want. I don't know how many... I don't know how many ports they've got that are capable of producing these ships. They may have them around Tunis. But all I do know is without Britain, they've lost their ability to produce as many of them. So these... These losses are going to be quite decisive for the Royal Navy. And actually, it looks like they're all progressing. They're all progressing quite similarly. So it is in our best interests to get our line moving so they don't tangle with the head of it on their own. The head of my fleet isn't left isolated and able to be destroyed. Happy to let these guys arrive, you know, as is, because frankly there's a limit to how quickly they can get here to help. I can speed up a bit by saying, okay, we'll go this way. Yeah, you are able to make better speed like that. Still going to be triple speeding it though. We will lose ships in this action. Make sure all my ships are being brought to bear. Okay, the Rosés are going to be a bit frustrating to deal with, mixed in with the likes of the heavy first rates, but got to do it. Let's make sure my ships are following the weather gauge dead on to make as much progress as they can. We are going to get the first shots off.
Nope, no, no, no. Keep going. All of you guys just head over this way. Over here at full speed. We may have to slowly turn like so. Just to stop the heavy first from getting ahead of us quite so easily. back of the column will not follow the line they will chop the corner off these are my seconds so they'll be able to make faster time leaving some of their heavier ships behind which is good for us in my fleet's going to try and try and cut them off Keep progressing slow and steady. Okay, you guys need to progress at a slightly different angle. some good hits against Liverpool. Champion's going to get pounded by Hannibal when the position, when the time comes though. San Mateo is also taking hits. Yeah, we need to chop, chop the line. Start getting more into some more discreet individual ship actions we can try and coordinate and manage. Liverpool's on fire. We can sneak through the line. Hannibal's going to put a danger, a very bad broadside into us. We need to try and cut the cut their fleet in half, I think. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. New ships need to progress on specifically against Hannibal. Taking out the mast, which is super. Actually, I'm going to have to focus you specifically on the, the arse of Hannibal now. Grand the Alejandro's job is to get ahead of Hannibal. Yeah, champion's going to be done for. You can start clearing out Liverpool. Robux pushing in. They're all bouncing in amongst themselves. Get 
bumper to bumper. You need to push up because right now they're pushing. Yeah, there goes Champion. Champion was always going to be slightly doomed. Zampeo is also in trouble. Probably, you, well, probably got hit by the some of the shots from El Gran Alejandro. Get ahead of them. Stop all these ships. Push forward. This seems a bit crazy. You guys are going to go try and get behind their formation. They've just. They're just steamboating straight in. It's confusing. But look, they're just pushing this heavy frigate. firing broadsides. You keep firing into Hannibal. You just keep firing your main shot. They can't do anything to stop you there. Unsurprisingly, he lost a couple of first couple of lines of the damage. Get a second rate and hit stop firing. You try to get a stern, you try to get next to them. I mean, chain, chain for days. There's so many masts, you can't miss. You guys try to get behind the Roebuck. very much lost control of what's going on in this section here. Just keep blasting them with chain. I mean, I know my ships are mixed in there now too, but... It's so damn confusing. sense. You get out of the way. Right now you're just blocking Rayo. Itself, not the terrible outcome, because you could end up just sailing it into the middle of their fleet for it to deliberately explode. Getting behind Rover. Shot, you shot the mast off your own ship there. That was pretty super duper there. ships are going to effectively end up just sitting here pouring shots into this cluster of carnage that they've caused. You just shot your own friend there, Newton. Oh 
Grand Alejandro just... You know, you know what? You're up there. Load broadside right. Just pump broadside into Rover. This is carnage. Heavy first rate sinking. Well, you have no ships on your starboard side. Guys, just gonna sit here and pummel Hannibal and Liverpool. You just need to book it. We just need to try and gang up on some of these, some of these uh, heavier British ships. Buy your broadside now in case you don't get the you miss you lose the opportunity to do so. You're gonna shuffle forward a little bit so San Geronimo can engage Roebuck. Explosion, all right. Hey, okay, now I can, I'll try and turn you guys around. Port battery is a lot more robust. You're just going to chill and engage Hannibal. You're just going to chill and engage Sutherland. These ships are all going to engage Liverpool. You guys will pivot and then start engaging with chain shot to knock out that last mast on robot just to make them super unhappy. There goes Liverpool's rear mast. They're not going to move, just pummel them with round shot. Just stick at it. Keep going. Although you are fireable off, let's get rid of that. Although I can't really get rid of that because you're... You're on fire. You are no longer on fire. Liverpool is sinking, but these ships advance. Mm -hmm. 
push forward. He's trying to move, I knew it! I knew that's what he would try and do, the scallywag. surrendered. Excellent. As has Roebuck. Spin Dax around. Thunderer is thundering along. There's no point really you shooting anymore but you're going to do it anyway. Sutherland's alive and kicking. Fire at will. Arm yourselves, you must board her. Continue this action. We're going to knock out your sail, mister. There we go. Get him! Whew, that, got, that got quite dicey in the middle. But well, we managed to deal with it. So you guys just sail right on in front. Just keep pounding them. Broadside coming in. There goes the last mast. You're going nowhere. So make sure you do try and board. Because it's always, as soon as you board with a the ship they, in their routing, they immediately surrender. Which is excellent for us. Killed the enemy admiral. Get cracking. Franklin is boarding. There we go. It wasn't really Peric. I mean, granted, the fleet got pretty beat up, but we've got some extra. Got some ships. So we lost two, but we gained four, five ships. We gained three. Two heavy first, a first rate, and a third rate. That's pretty good. So now this fleet, like I said, did get the seven hells knocked out of it. But this sí, fleet can Capitan. get out of Sandy Listos. Bay. Actually, I think I might move. You guys up to Casablanca. This heavy fleet down to here. You guys stay in Sandy Bay. You guys replenish. That's gone quite well. We've done all this stuff. Now I'm checking it again just in case. You don't want any ships caught out. Broke death. He did great. Done all that. Yeah, we've done all that. So then, uh, Ciro Moreno is going to engage the British. Here, but it's definitely time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>